Hey guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade. As always, we're on the quest to play all the old school and new school arcade machines one coin at a time. And today we're playing Snow Brothers starring Nick and Tom. Now this came out by Toa Plant in 1990 and I have a lot of nostalgic memories for this game. It was always a lot of fun for me. And I'm keen to show you today, so we're going to insert a credit now. And uh, we're going to see how long we can last off one playthrough. So in this game, uh, you play obviously one or two brothers, Nick and Tom, uh, these weird looking snow creatures, whatever they're supposed to be, and uh, your goal is to simply clear all the enemies off the screen in order to advance. Now the way to do that is to turn them into snowballs as you can see here, and then you can kick them off and lay the smack down. Uh, now if you're looking at this game for the very, very first time guys, you're probably going to think it's a bubble bubble copycat. Uh, look, I think the developers of this game definitely took a lot of inspiration from Bubble Bobble. There's no denying that. It's a single screen platforming game where you have to shoot and pop or kick enemies. You know, it's, it's the same concept, let's face it. Um, I don't have a problem with copycat or clone games as long as they're at least as good as the original. And Snow Brothers here definitely is, guys. It's an incredibly charming game. Now, look, for a 1990 game, the concept was a little bit dated. However, less is more, and games like this were still getting uh, released right up until... Uh, 1995, 1996. Actually, I think there was a total of three Snow Brothers games. So it just goes to show how successful. Uh, did, did, did I really just say that? <laughs> it just goes to show how successful. There you go. I got it that time. Uh, this first original game was. So here we go up to level four now. Now I have a lot of nostalgic memories for this game. I used to play this at the milk bar, bar where my grandmother used to live when I was a kid. Uh, now, you probably remember you used to go to 7-Eleven, you'd grab a Slurpee. It was the same kind of thing at the milk bar, but I used to grab a drink called an Icy, which is like a, a frozen Coke by today's standards. You could get a cola or a raspberry. So I used to take my Icy drink, and I used to play this machine for 5-10 minutes, however long I'd last. And I'd never play for a long period of time. After all, I'd only have one coin. No, no real pun intended. Um, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'd have fun all the same, and I think this was an NES game as well, but I didn't know about that unfortunately in my childhood. Uh, but now after playing both, uh, this arcade version is the version to play, it is the definitive edition. And the one you must try if you're into uh, single screen arcade games. Now there was a lot of them guys, as I said they were being released uh, by the bucket pool until the mid 90s. You also had games like Pain, Liquid Kids, New Zealand Story. Uh, you had the Bubble Bubble sequels as well, Rainbow Islands, um, all of them are fantastic, but this is definitely up there as one of the best ones, so I can't stress enough, you have to play this game. Um, the buttons in this are really, really simple, guys. You just have a, a, a jump button, and you have a shoot button which turns everything, as you can see, and I mentioned in the snowballs. Uh, again, this game suits purists and uh, casual gamers alike. You can either play just to advance levels or you can get the highest combinations as you can in order to get the highest score to brag to your friends with. Again, if you can clear multiple enemies, you'll get a higher score. Uh, so the one awesome thing for this game, as I mentioned, is there's something here for everyone. Um, so another reason to check it out no matter what type of gamer you are. Uh, the music's not too bad in this game. I actually really, really enjoy the sound effects. However, the soundtracks can get repetitive. I think you get a new tune once every 10 levels. I think there's about 50 in total. Every 10 levels you'll face a, a boss until you get to the final boss. I think I got up to the final boss after 40 or 50 minutes. I've only ever been up to him once. Uh, that final boss battle is incredibly challenging and will take a lot of patience and coins, especially if you're doing it for the first time. Uh, most of the other bosses in this have a basic attack pattern, and while they're challenging, they're not impossible. Uh, but typically, the further along you go in this game, the harder it's going to be and the more you're going to spend. It's just how arcade games work. Um, a lot of the time, you're going to find you're actually combating the levels themselves uh, more than the creatures. Uh, as you go further along in this game, uh, the levels become really unique in design. And uh, it's a thinking man's platformer. You're going to have to use a lot of strategy to know where to navigate. And just much like Bubble Bobble, uh, it, for that matter, you know, you just need to use strategy to know which platform to take, which one not to take. Sometimes it's about the ones not to take, because you can get yourself stuck and not be able to do anything. So that's something to keep in mind as well. <coughs> and here we go, we're up to level uh, 10 here, so we've got the... The first boss battle. Uh, now, luckily, we collected a potion, so we've got this supercharged uh, 
snowball attack it, as you can see here. Uh, it's just the same as a normal fire, except it turns everything into snowballs a lot quicker. Um, I think you can do a little bit of damage shooting the enemy this way, but you'll do a lot more damage if you actually shoot his uh, projectiles back at him. That's something to keep in mind as well. And uh, that was no sweat. That was a pretty easy boss fight. I think I've had a fair bit of, of practice. I used to always get stuck at this guy, so this is actually a, a pretty good run so far. And uh, so we've done the first section. So we've got a new soundtrack here, new uh, set of levels. Uh, with the enemies themselves, there's a fair bit of variety here considering it's just a single screen platform game. Uh, all have their own motions and waves of attack. Uh, so each takes a different strategy to defeat. Those green little monsters become a, a pain when when the levels get a bit more claustrophobic because they shoot flame at you and they're the projectiles are really hard to avoid in this game sometimes, so, uh... But these, uh, basic ones here just kind of sit there and don't do too much. Anyway... Oh, damn, we lost two lives at once, that's... Okay, we're in sudden death mode now. Get a little bit clumsy here. <laughs> I think, I think I, I stuffed up because, uh, I no longer had my, uh... Super... Super snow attack, if that makes sense. I'm back to the normal rate of fire. And these uh, guys are substantially harder to shoot with this normal weapon. There we go. We should be able to get past here now. Um, so as you can see, we're ascending every time uh, we're finishing a level, which is a big difference between this and Bubble Bobble. In Bubble Bobble, uh, you would actually descend. In this game, you ascend. So, I mean, I guess I deliberately wanted to do a few differences so it wasn't a complete copycat. <laughs> Alright. Level 14. I don't, can't remember. I think you can get extra lives when you get a high enough score. I think we're just uh, smidgen away from getting extra life there, and unfortunately we died. Well, that's game over today, guys. That's Snow Brothers starring Nick and Tom. This is an absolutely awesome game. Uh, if you like old school platformers, it's a must play. Simple as that. And as always, guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, support us on Patreon, and we'll see you next time.